Alright guys, in this video what we're going to be doing is we're going to be styling the two different layouts. The one with the menu and the one without the menu in the right hand side or the main content takes up the entire site. Now I have to admit that I was going to teach you how to do this in a kind of like the standard way that everyone uses whenever they're using Bootstrap. But in between <laughs> the last video that I just filmed in this one, I thought of a new way to do it and I, <laughs> I'm not sure if it's going to work but uh, we'll see. So just to make it a little bit easier to see what's going on, instead of toggled because it's like alright is this the one where the menu is showing or is this the class where the menu is hidden? I'm going to change this to menu displayed so by default the wrapper is just going to show a blank website with no menu but then whenever we toggle this class then the menu is going to appear and you can cl keep clicking the button to hide it, show it, hide it, show it. But anyways, by default no menu and then we're going to click it and this menu displayed is of course when the menu is displayed. I thought it was a little bit easier to understand. So in here, the first thing I want to do is, should I add comments or not? Might as well. Alright, we're going to style the sidebar. The main menu bar on the left. Now sidebar wrapper so the sidebar wrapper is essentially just the entire sidebar and whenever we you know actually style what color do we want the um, items to be when we hover over them and all that good stuff um, then we can do it with this but remember the sidebar wrapper is just your entire left menu so what I'm gonna do first I'm, I'm gonna set the Z index to 1 now you're gonna see why later on oh man this is not gonna work actually I have faith it will so the position of this and the position of everything is gonna be absolute what that means is this starting point for this menu is the top left now also the main area whenever we make that too that starting point is gonna be top left as well so it's kind of a weird way to position things both you know kind of overlapping but I'll show you guys what's going on <laughs> hopefully it's pretty cool so by default remember this isn't going to display so I'm just going to set the width to zero now I also want to set the height to 100 percent because I always want this to take up the entire height I don't know I think that's just how like most software works like this right here so what we're going to be doing is whenever we toggle it we're just going to give it a width of like 250 pixels so essentially it's going to be like this at first and then when we toggle it it's just going to have a width so it displays really easy right hopefully so another thing I want to do is overflow Y which means left and right whenever you have content in here that takes up more than the width then I'm just going to say hidden and that's because you see all this stuff in here how it may be like uh, 250 pixels wide well whenever the menu is you know only this big we don't want the content popping out on the right hand side so pretty much exactly how this little area works right here if the contents too long then just cut it off and don't show it alright why did I, I have so many spaces there alright so now we can just give it a background and one of my favorite colors is 2C 3E50. A kind of dark blue. And just so this is actually easy to see, for the border, I'm going to give it a border of 2 pixels solid red. So it's going to look really goofy, but I want to show you guys um, clearly how it shrinks and expands. And I think putting a border around it will be easier to see. And <laughs> just so I'll see if my little trick works. I'm going to give it an opacity so we can kind of see through this and it's a little bit transparent. So right now what we have is we have this menu on the left hand side and by default we gave all the settings we need to but we set the width to zero. So essentially we have the menu, it exists, but the width is like that. That's all we did. Simple enough. Now after this we're going to just uh, put like the main, I don't want to say the main area, like the uh, right, I don't know, I'll say like the main content. So again, this is just the main area on the right. So not the entire thing, but the area on the right. 
Now all I'm going to do right here is I'm going to set this area to take up the entire screen. Kind of weird, but maybe it'll work. So page, content, wrapper, and that's just this right here, remember, the right hand side. What I'm going to do for this is set the width to 100% and the position absolute and the padding is I'll just set to 15 pixels and that's just so um, the buttons and the headings aren't butted right up against the top and I also want to add a border to this so border I'll say like a 5 pixels solid green what was my other one red alright green will be good on this one so right now what's happening is whenever the user first loads the page this sidebar on the left hand side it isn't going to be displaying because it has a width of zero so that means that the main content is going to be taking up the entire width alright good to go however whenever the user tries to open this menu and we give a width since this is absolute then it's going to look like this menu is displaying on top of this and it's going to hide some of the content and it's going to look really goofy so to remedy that what I'm going to do is this the first thing we need to do, of course, is give myself some more room to work. All right. The sidebar to display. It. All right, so now I want to start working on that wrapper. What do we call it? Menu displayed. Did we call it menu displayed? On that menu display class. So I'm going to change the styling of this for whenever the menu is actually displayed. Now for the sidebar wrapper, which is the side menu, all we need to do here to display the menu is we need to give it a width. So right now it has a width of zero. And if we just give it a width of 250 pixels, then it's in the proper location already. It has all the settings and you know styling that it needs. Once we have width, it's going to display. Now, like I said, the problem with this is it's going to be overlapping on top of our main content. So to fix that, actually, you don't even need these stupid comments on every single thing I do. So let me wrapper menu displayed, and we want to change something with the main content. Now for this, all we have to do is we have to give it a padding left. So what this is going to do is even though the user isn't going to know what's going on, what's going to happen is the menu, the side menu is going to take up 250 pixels on the left and all the content in here, your main area, instead of starting right up against the left hand side, we're going to say, hey, actually start 250 pixels to the left so we have room for the menu. So all we have to do now is our basic styling so sidebar styling no bootstrap weird techniques uh, you know just how do we want it to look and what are we doing first so sidebar nav which is our main menu inside that sidebar and just for housekeeping I'm gonna put the padding to zero and I'm gonna put the list style to none since this is an unordered list we don't want those stupid uh, bullet points or like little diamonds we just want, you know, no styling. We'll do it ourselves. So, so now the actual list items, which are the menu items that you click, I'm going to have a text indent of, let's say, like 20 pixels, just so it's off the left hand side a little bit. And for the line height, I'll set this to uh, 40 pixels. And if you don't do this, then they look kind of jumbled together. This will give them some space so they look like actual buttons and not just a bunch of text stacked on top of each other. And for the sidebar nav, holy hot moly. The links inside, I'll just say display block. So they stack on top of each other instead of, you know, trying to read like a paragraph. And the text decoration since they are link 
we don't want to underline on them and for the color I'll just say uh, la, 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 DDD which is kind of a light gray now the last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say whenever you hover over one of these then we want to give it a background like you're hovering over a big blocky button so sidebar nav And if you hover over a list item, we'll just change the background to la la la, let's say uh, 16A085. Uh, a cool little, I don't know, like turquoise or something. So hopefully, if this works, we'll see what's uh, going on. So run this and check it out. So, like I said, by default, this is what we get. And this, of course, would usually be on the toolbar, but whatever and this main content which is surrounded with a green border it's taking up the entire width of the web page now I'm gonna to toggle this button and check it out so since this is transparent you can see that this main content which is surrounded with a green border it's still taking up 100 percent of the site so it's still taking up this area right here but what we did is we added a padding on the left hand side so the content doesn't actually start until right around here where my mouse is. Now if you notice this menu that's on the left hand side, all we're doing here is by default it has a width of zero and if I took that red border away, that's the only reason that you see it right here because I added a stupid red border, but if I took it away then it would be completely hidden and whenever I toggle it we're just giving it a width and whenever you give it a width then everything displays perfectly so my little idea actually worked and just so we can test things out check that out pretty cool eh? so toggle that and all of our content is looking good and wow this is <laughs> this is super responsive usually things start messing up right around here but yeah look at that pretty cool and just so so I can demonstrate real quick how much better this looks if we don't have all those weird borders and everything let me refresh it and this would be kind of a user experience so they <laughs> they don't know that uh, you know we're tricking them behind the scenes but look at that pretty cool functionality got a really basic menu going on so uh, yeah if you guys have any other weird techniques then please let me know but thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And, uh, well, see you guys next time.